Welcome back to VBPA Tutorials. I am Venkat. In this video, we are going to learn how to migrate tables with proper schema. What is proper schema? So let me explain you that. In the previous video, we have simply created an entity class and we have migrated it. Okay. So there are few properties. There are few properties, student name, so of type string, email of type string and address of type string. So for these three fields, what is the data type? What is the data type created inside SQL Server? So we can assume that varchar would be the equivalent data type for string. Okay. If the database is going to create with data type varchar, so what is that size it will allocate? If it allocates the maximum size, so for email, how many characters we will use maximum 250 characters. Okay. For address maximum 500 characters. Suppose we assume email will take only 250 characters. If the database creates this particular field with maximum capacity of the varchar, that means almost 8000 characters or more than 8000 characters, right? So that's a waste of database storage. So let us see. So what is the size and data type SQL server has created? Okay, this is the table we have migrated in the earlier videos. Let me go to design of it. You can see it has created anywhere care data type for that string and you can see it is created it with maximum capacity. So you can also see email with anywhere care of maximum capacity. Okay, address also with maximum capacity. So if we want to use email only for 250 characters, we are indirectly wasting database storage, right? So how can we migrate it with proper data types, proper size and proper validations? So you can see this, this column, you can see this column, all are unchecked. So if it is required or not required, allow nulls or not allow nulls. So all these details are missing here, right? So let us try to migrate this table with those details. Let's go to our context file. So this is our DB context file. In the earlier videos, we have added the data, default data. Let me minimize that. So now let us add the proper schema. You can see here. So I'm configuring this for student table or entity. Entity tends to this is the table entity dot property of what is the property I want to configure and dot student name. So this student name is required. This one is a mandatory field. So let me set the size for this student name. Okay. So has maximum length of 250 characters okay and i wanted to configure one more column so this time i wanted to configure address address is required no i want to make it optional so it's not required so you can pass true or false to this is required so by default it is true that's why i did not send anything address is optional that's why i'm sending false and for the email field, email field is required. So here you can see for the student name, I have set required or not. And after that, again, I have written one more line to set the size. We can actually do this in single line. Okay. So is required, that is required dot has max length of what is the max length for email let me have 250 characters okay what is the max length we want for address field for address field i want to use 500 characters okay this is how you can this is how you can set the schema for a particular table so here i am setting student name is required 
and student has student name has maximum 250 characters and address is not required it's optional and it has 500 characters maximum so email is a required and 250 characters maximum this is how we can manage the schema of the table so let us update this go to package manager console so what is the command add migration and uh, this time modify students schema migration completed and let's update the schema update database is the command database updated let us go to the database and reopen this table so you can see here student name set to 250 characters email set to 250 characters address set to 500 characters and you can notice here this is an optional field you can see allow nulls is ticked here okay this is how we can configure table schema when we are migrating it using entity framework code first approach this is the schema file it has generated so it just written the column alteration script okay so let us go to our context file what we did we have simply configured the properties of it okay that is how we can configure the schema of the table for more videos like this please like share and subscribe thank you for watching